Don't get the graded, get the shredded. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry, I didn't even see you there. <gasps> oh my gosh! It's me, Bella! <laughs> yes, give me a hug! Oh. <laughs> How are you? I haven't seen you since high school graduation? Oh my gosh, it's crazy how time flies. How are you? What are you doing? I... Ah! How are you? Good, good. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. <gasps> no way. That is so cool. Oh, <laughs> and are you living here, or do you live somewhere else? Oh, you're moving back. So awesome. Where were you living, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, I see. You were living there by yourself? Or... Ah, okay, you live there with your girlfriend. Cool! Did you... Are you guys both moving back here, or...? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that you guys broke up. Oh, are you okay? Oh, well, I'm glad you're doing all right. <laughs> You're very handsome, so I'm sure you won't be on the market for long. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, no, you look great still. <laughs> so, you're moving back here. Are you... Where are you living? Are you, like, moved in or are you moving? Oh, okay, nice, nice. Me? Oh, yeah, I still live here. <laughs> I haven't gone anywhere. I stayed here. Mm -hmm. I love it, though. Yeah, I really do. I mean, it's beautiful here. I know it so well. And I... Never really wanted to go far. I mean, of course, travel, new experiences, but at the end of the day, this is home. So, I'm not sad I never left. But it sounds like you have some crazy cool stories and experiences. <laughs> it would be awesome to just, um sit and chat and uh get coffee maybe and just hear all about them yeah okay we should definitely swap numbers yeah okay uh here's my phone awesome all righty here you go <laughs> um me? What have I been doing? Um, <sighs> well, I recently uh, got my degree and I decided I wasn't done, so I'm gonna go back to school and get another degree. And I, uh, I work currently. I'm a teacher up at the old elementary school, um, so I teach fourth grade. <laughs> And I'm the coach of the girls' soccer team. So it's been very fun, very busy. I have a few extracurriculars um, I've been getting into when I have the spare time and over the summer. Um, so I stay busy. <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. I mean, the kids are just so wonderful and smart and I love molding new little minds and... They're just so sweet, and I don't know, I like to stay busy, and I like to stay, um, what's the word? 
I like to stay tight with the community. <laughs> it's nice. Makes me feel needed. Oh, I live, um, do you know where that creek that runs through those restaurants? Yeah, I live, um, right behind those restaurants. Mm-hmm. Yep, right up there. Yeah, I really love it. I'm doing construction on it right now, actually. It's, ugh, ugh, it's part of such a long story, which I would, will totally talk your ear off over coffee, but... Long story short, I'm working on making it, like, my dream home. <laughs> it's a work in progress, but she will definitely get there. <laughs> so, what are your goals for um, being back in town? Long term, I mean. <gasps> That's cool. That's so cool. Ugh. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, well, it just sounds like you have the greatest game plan ever. And um I'm uh, I can't I did not think I was gonna be running into anybody I knew. I would have dressed for the occasion. Uh, excuse my pajama pants from Christmas. <laughs> Oh, no, you're right, actually. These are the peak fashion. I forgot. I, you know, I didn't realize I was a trendsetter. I forgot. <laughs> oh, you're still so funny. You are. You always made me laugh in school. Always. Even when I didn't want to. Who doesn't think you're funny? Oh, well, psh, they don't know who they're talking to because I think you're absolutely hilarious most of the time. Mm-hmm, most of the time, okay? I do have to say not all of them were hitters, okay? So we'll have to see how your humor has grown. <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny. Oh, well, thank you. I think you look great as well. So, are you <laughs> cooking up a big meal? This is a interesting assortment of groceries you have in your basket. <laughs> ah, I see. Mmm. See, my problem is I always come to the grocery store hungry, so even if I have a list, I'm always like, oh, that sounds good. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, that sounds even better. And then I end up with just a ton of junk food that A, I won't eat in time before it expires, and B, I just didn't want it in the first place. <laughs> but I'm sticking to my list. I am making some chicken alfredo from scratch tonight and that is it no side extras although now that i'm here and i'm hungry i'm thinking some garlic bread would pair very nicely with it but who am i kidding i cannot eat a whole thing of garlic bread by myself and let's also be so for real you cannot make pasta for just one person so i'm gonna be end up having like a ton of this pasta which don't get me wrong is amazing because leftovers but the microwave at work sucks so it just usually ends up going to waste sorry <laughs> to make a long story impossibly short i'm making uh chicken alfredo and maybe some garlic bread <laughs> Yes, I am making it from scratch, so, oh, it is so good. My mouth waters just thinking about it. Once I think about it too much, it just gets stuck in there, and then I can't do anything except think of this chicken alfredo. So, um, I've been thinking about this chicken alfredo all day. I think I said chicken alfredo to my classroom full of students at least six times today, which of course made at least two to three people hungry every time I said it. So, at the end of the day, I just had a bunch of hangry children. 
and a, with a hangry teacher. So it was um <laughs> an interesting end to the day. Everyone was antsy to get home, <laughs> but it was a good day. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, hey, no worries. If you have to take that, I really want to make my chicken alfredo now. It was so good to see you. You have my number. Um, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay, bye.